In this video let me show you how to unlock factory reset protection on all Samsung devices with all security patch levels. So as you can see in front of me is Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and on this example let me show you how to remove factory reset protection on all Samsung smartphones and tablets. So at the very beginning let's start by using this website hardreset.info and here you can use this site or you can also find the appropriate tutorials by finding your device on Samsung Galaxy on hardreset.info so here I have Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus let's choose unlock FRP section and now you can use the following info and the following tools so that's what we need at first let's download necessary tools as you can see here we've got Samsung drivers so let's use Samsung drivers and let's also use Samsung FRP tool let's download the drivers by using the download button as simple as that and then let's also use this download button to the tool right here choose download in some cases the Windows Defender or other antivirus may detect it as risky let's just open this Defender system and let's wait a few seconds here let's tap thread blocked and let's choose actions and tap allow that's it let me try it again tap download let's do it one more time here as you can see another thread was found let's tap actions and choose allow on this device and now everything should be just fine let's refresh the website and simply tap download again and now you can download your some FRP tool that's it so let's go to the download section right here and let's unpack those things the drivers here I have drivers and let's also unpack the tool so as you can see let me install the drivers let's use this installation file all right here I have information that in my case the drivers are installed so in my case everything is all right and then let's also install the sum FRP tool that's it if you install the FRP tool the following window should pops up so that's what we need to use now if you have the FRP tool you need to have the user and password so you can have those two things by using our website so let's use the following window and here let's enter the email number of your device so let's just enter the email number and choose order FRP and as you can see here you can use the service and make an order the cost is almost $20 so you can here have the credits for this account so it's really quick action let's just go through this process and you will have the password and the, the login to the account with the credits and then you will be able to use it on your device so I have my credentials right here let me just use it so let me copy my user let's just paste it right here and let me also copy my password here I have my password and let's just paste it all right let's choose login as you can see my balance is one credit so that's what I need for one FRP action and now you can go to your device here let's simply restart the phone tab restart twice all right now if you see the welcome screen let's just connect your device by using USB cable to your computer let me connect it 
let's wait like 30 seconds just to install all drivers and now let's tap check the tool is reading the log status so let's wait a few seconds as you can see the log status is triggered so it means that this device has the factory reset protection so now all you need to do is use unlock frp button and just remove the factory reset protection from this device so let me do it let's use unlock frp You can see here we've got the information that the sending unlock data to device is done. So let me just try to use my phone. Tap here next, choose next, next. Skip the Wi Fi connection. It's a good sign that you can skip it. You can even disconnect your device from the computer. Tap don't copy apps and data let me just quickly activate the device to make sure that i've got my phone without the factory reset protection tab accept skip the screen lock skip anyway skip and skip tab finish and that's it so as you can see you just unlock your device by using the SAM FRP tool and it's really great tool because you can use it on all Samsung devices all you need to have is your device USB-C cable and the credits to the following tool so all necessary information you can find under the video and thanks for watching please subscribe our channel leave thumbs up under the video